Hello, BillWhittle.com members. I'm Steve Green with Bill Whittle and Scott Ott. And because Bill and Scott are deep sinners and deserve to be punished, it's another lightning round. You're killing me, Larry. <laughs> you know the drill. I go through the headlines. I artisanally pick stories <laughs> just for Bill and Scott. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Uh, I probably don't. But we're going to do it anyway. You can't escape. All right. Uh, first headline goes to Bill. Oh, this is actually kind of a, a, a serious Semi-serious. With women in combat roles, a federal court rules male-only draft is unconstitutional. Uh, welcome aboard, ladies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Draft them. Uh, draft them and, um, and, and send them off. I hate the draft though the, 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 no no this is what you want yeah. and and see the whole the whole the whole twist of feminism is really actually pretty simple it's a ratchet in other words all of the things all of the privileges that men enjoy women want but all of the w privileges that women enjoy they are not willing to surrender any of so it simply just ratchets everything in their direction so you want um you want women in combat and you've got um you're voting for people uh, and Hillary Clinton and all the rest of them who are saying well, women women are fully capable and, and just as good soldiers as men are. All right. Well, you, you, you voted for it. You got it. Now it's yours. You're a feminist. Congratulations. Enjoy your time in the United States Marine Corps or the Army, whichever whichever one you find uh, to be more, um, whichever particular brand of mud you find more, uh, you know, your, your, your particular style. Whether you like the clay of Georgia or the more earthy kind of brown mud that we have out here in um, in California, no, absolutely draft them. Absolutely, you, this entire catastrophe has happened because there are no consequences for left wing idiocy. There's no consequences. They don't have to pay. Uh, 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 Christine Blasey Ford gets out there, tells this outrageous series of lies. She gets a book deal and lots of money, and she's a hero to half of the country. And is she ever going to be brought up on perjury charges? Is she ever going to be investigated to see if she was telling the truth? Is she? No, of course not. So you want you want to be um, you want to be you want to make these claims. You want to let me rephrase this. You want to tell Martina Navratilova that she is. Um, uh, persona non grata for saying that it's not fair for her to com to compete against male tennis players. A woman who's been a champion of of gay rights from the moment she actually uh, burst on the national scene. If you want to excommunicate her for her not being woke enough by simply saying that she just simply can't compete with men, then by all means, no. This is the world you want. Congratulations, you're drafted, and um, and. I don't see any other remedy for this other than the consequences of their actions to fall upon the heads of the people that are making these uh, policies. Uh, the other uh, positive possibility of the story, other than the delicious schadenfreude, which you just shared with us, is maybe, maybe this will generate a move to abolish the selective service, which the military just does not want draftees the, 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 yeah i thought it was we, interesting that the real constitutional question so to speak really isn't what sex a person is who's getting conscripted by the federal government but whether or not the federal government has the authority to conscript uh, you could the make military, the military you could make the argument that the states do um and i think you'd have more success there yeah that's a good but point. the military doesn't want conscripts. They they don't want to lose the selective service. But we we've seen what happens with a with a, uh, a conscripted army in Vietnam, and we don't want it. And we don't need it. Um, I think, however, due to the incredible injustice done to men over the over the centuries, a millennia, really, for the entire history of the species, I think that men should be exempted from the draft, and that only women should be drafted, because this injustice has to be corrected somehow. And um, reparations, and I think if you this, will. Yeah. Yeah, Clearly. send a few of them out to get maimed and killed, and and um, I mean it's just it's just it's just fair. Yeah. Well, Maybe. women would settle it peacefully, Bill. You are mistaken. If women were sent to war, then we wouldn't have wars because they would not do the stupid things that we do. Maybe they should. Have be, you ever have you ever met one? <laughs> Maybe they should be drafted to perform jobs like lumberjacking, coal mining, sewer yeah. work that men traditionally do, which are either unpleasant or inherently dangerous. Then Carjacking you can get your is also usually then, a male thing. Yeah, then you can extra, then you can get your extra 20, 28 cents an hour. <laughs> there you go. All right, Scott, this one's for you. NBC News reports 
And this is a quote. A vegan burger... Vegan? Vegan? Which is it? Vegan. Vegan. A vegan <laughs> it's, burger it's a recipe... <laughs> that could change your mind about Meatless Monday. This oil-free, gluten-free, nut-free patty is so packed with flavor that even carnivores may ask for seconds. But, Scott, mm. isn't the real problem getting people who actually like to eat food to get us to try first of this stuff? Yeah, I mean, well, what you've just described there sounds like it's something mm. totally devoid of ingredients. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Once you, you lost me at oil-free. Right. I mean, um, it has, it has, you told me everything it doesn't have, which would lead me to assume that there, there must be something it does have. Is there, is there carbon involved in it? That's not yogurt. <laughs> it is matter. It is physical matter is of matter? some time. We're relatively sure not about that. Yes. Yeah. It's not anti-matter? <laughs> Touch it and find out. Good. That's good. You had a you know, meat tornado. Well, we did an episode, and, and our, our members will recall this, and, and those who are just joining will want to go back and watch the Vegan Avenger uh, episode with uh, Senator Cory Booker, who is basically <laughs> yeah. uh, not trying to tell you what to eat, but he does think that America needs to be nudged toward fake cheese, and I'll look for any opportunity <laughs> I can to say the phrase nudge <laughs> toward fake <laughs> cheese. <laughs> but, um, you know, as a, as a guy who spent 20 years uh, haunting these uh, creepy stores where uh, they sell these so-called vegetarian things. It has always fascinated me that um, that the vegetarians industry is really built around seeing if we can come up with ways to make non-meat products look like meat. Uh, you would think, like, like if vegetarianism was something that was natural or veganism was something that was natural, then you would think that the whole industry would be bent on showing you food that looks like leaves or roots or yes. berries, but no, it's they have to make nut dogs, and you know yeah. <laughs> they have to make these. Uh, what do they call those uh, burgers? I forget. There's a restaurant around here that has those vegan burgers or the veggie burgers or whatever. Oh, but, oh, Miracle Burger or something. Yeah, but it's got to be it's got to be something that is like meat, but not meat, because they know deep down inside every vegan wants a cheeseburger yeah. with bacon. Jim on Gaffigan it. said. Jim, Jim Gaffigan said no one's ever tried to sell a steak by carving it into little mushroom shapes. You know? uh. <laughs> well, listen, I went to a, uh, a steakhouse a couple of weeks ago for the 18th anniversary of the night we met. And one of the items on the menu was uh, a cauliflower steak, which is just this giant slab of cauliflower dressed up like a steak. And we just, mm. we laughed at that thing. Just horrible. And oh, they charged the like $25 flower. for it. As you're as you're sautéing it, once the cauliflower achieves a succulent gray. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Bill. Oh, this one is just for you. California's big one might not be an earthquake; it could be a volcanic eruption. So, uh, Bill, don't you think it's time that you set aside your sort of childish devotion to smod and 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 yes. got behind a giant volcano? Smod. Embrace the magma uh, blowhole. I, I am now. I am now a, a, a fervent follower of Svod. Um, you know, Smod, the sweet meteor of death, is uh, has been the um, reason why I always try to go last on these recording sessions because I figure you never know. It could just. I mean, maybe it'll come, and I didn't want to have to record my segment. But Smod is a is she's a flirty little tease. You know, uh, I mean, she's cited every now and then, and and, and you hear chances are four percent that in twenty sixty two, and you know, and I'm just tired of being toyed with. I, I'm Ain't just nobody tired got of time it. for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I want something reliable. Uh, Something made in America, domestic. Uh, something nice. that's that's um, that's got uh, you know some reasonable chance of delivering the goods here. Uh, so uh, I I personally welcome the sweet volcano of death, and I'd like to remind our volcanic <laughs> overlords that as a um, as a well recognized member of uh, the, of the news media, I can be useful in rounding up other humans to serve in their underground lava tubes. Well. <laughs> Ca California may be cleansed by purging fire. We 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 can hope. But I'm, we can hope. I, I'm putting my I'm the guy to do it. I'm putting my support in 2020 behind the Yellowstone Caldera, which is the extinction level event you can trust. <laughs> well, it's it's at least at least the Yellowstone Caldera is a product of Middle America. That's so right. if somebody's going to build something that's going to actually do it, then I think you could count on yeah, that. By the way, sure. since we're talking about extinction of all life on Earth, you know, wiping out the humans and the animals that's that's child's play sure. it's, it's getting those bastard microbes down in the in the little hot vents at the bottom of the ocean those are the ones that are tough to actually 
get rid of. And if you can't do the whole thing, why even yeah, start? you got to watch out for those guys. It's either a sterile ball or it's yeah, not. we got we got to burn off the oceans. All right, uh, Scott, oh, yeah, this, this one's got me so mad. Colorado, the state that I love, the state where I live, the state that I'm going to retire from someday, I'm yes. sad to have to conclude. Uh, Colorado's governor will sign a measure to award his state's, my state's, electoral votes to the winner of the national popular vote, moving a countrywide coalition one step closer to circumventing the Electoral College. Uh, you think this will pass constitutional muster? You know, we just got an uh, email from one of our members asking if we could talk about this subject. Ah. Um, yes, literally, I was telling Bill about it uh, earlier an hour or so ago. Um, so, yeah, will it pass constitutional muster? Well, it depends on who is... Uh, who sits on the courts, frankly. Um, and if uh, President Trump continues along the pathway that he has been with his judicial nominees, not just at the Supreme Court level, but at the on the federal bench and the appellate courts, um, if he manages to squeak out a victory over Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, uh, Cory Booker, Booker, Joe Biden, whoever he faces in 2020 and appoints more judges, then I think we have some Those hope titans. to hang on to uh, something I saw referred to by a leftist the other day as the electoral college um so but if he doesn't and if things take a turn then i think that what progressives have been pushing for uh will come to fruitation a phrase that i heard another leftist use one time um yeah i, I mean i think this people don't realize what a serious threat this is because it seems like everything that the progressive movement has done is is ge geared towards centralization and everything the framers of the Constitution did was geared toward decentralization. These are two uh, exclusive views. They, there's no harmony between them. You're either centralized or you're decentralized, and we've got to constantly be pushing toward decentralization and, because the left is constantly pushing toward centralization. What you're effectively saying to the people of Colorado is your vote doesn't count. We're, we're going to go along with what are the, whatever the other guys say. Yeah, I, this, this, if my vote can be invalidated by people in Colorado or California or Illinois or New York, I've been effectively disenfranchised. And I think there's, exactly. I think there's a very strong equal protections clause argument to be made against this but law. that law will disappear that law will disappear of its own accord the second that it gets a republican elected yeah. mark my words yes mm -hmm. indeed but the whole idea of this law is to make sure that that never happens again uh oh last one is for me it's oh it's another one from nbc news which is where i go for my just idiotic headlines because they're just they're a terrible news organization they make cnn look like a news organization. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was coming. It still was not disappointed. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure what was coming, but uh, I'm glad it did. Uh, across the U.S., transgender athletes are breaking barriers in high school. This is the NBC News headline. Uh, college and pro sports and being embraced by teammates and fans, but resentments can still flare when transgender women start winning and dominating their sport. Number one, it's not their sport. They're men masquerading as women, and this is the end of all women's sport as we know it, which is a damn yep. shame because women's athlete, uh, female athletes can be just as inspiring as male athletes. I don't care what the commercialization aspects are or aren't. But I would just like to conclude that this, that this condescending tone that NBC News and the left, but I repeat myself, has taken amounts to little more than, uh, look here, little missy, you need to sit down and shut up and do what you're told in the name of feminism. And that is your members only right angle lightning round for the week of, oh my gosh, it's the last week of February already, if you can believe that. Thanks for making this possible. We'll see you next time.